Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Thank you all for tuning in. So earlier today, I uploaded a video. I was talking about the CPL. I was basically doing a preview, you know, and I had the Guyana Amazon Warriors taking on the Antigua and Barbuda Falcons. But I was dead wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> it's actually the Falcons versus the Patriots that will be playing um, later on tonight. It was a subscriber that saw it and, you know, said, no, sports to the bone, madness that. So, you know, I actually went ahead and removed that video. So in this one, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the first game. As I said, the Falcons versus the Patriots. Now, it's going to be very interesting to see how this game will play out. Um, the Patriots, you can say that they are straight, well, they have strengthened their squad. And the Falcons, they are new to the CPL. So, you know, we definitely want to see how things will work out. Now, I'm just going to remind you of the squads. And I will also highlight a couple of players that, you know, we need to look forward to. Not only established players, but... Just a couple of players that I personally believe will make an impact if given an opportunity. So give a listening ear and let me know what you all think in the comment section. Let me just remind you quickly. I am going with the Falcons this year, right? That's the team that I am supporting. The Jamaica Talawas, we no longer have a team. And I was never going to go with an already established team. You understand? A strong team like a Trinibago Knight Riders, a Guyana Amazon Warriors, Barbados, St. Lucia, you understand? And even the Patriots. I said that, you know, if anything, I would have gone with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. But we have a new franchise, a team that there aren't a lot of um, top T20 players in the squad that you could say the names jump out at you. You know, so it might be tough to support the squad, but this is the team that I am going with, right? I'm not going with any of the quote-unquote big name teams. All right, so um, before I give you the squads, just a quick reminder that these squads were published a couple weeks ago. You know, I am not sure if, um, you know, they have had any changes, people pulling out and all of that. I guess tonight, uh, when the first game start starts, you know, they will probably go through the squads and let us know, you know, if there is anybody that is missing and if and, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, um, yeah. So for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, we have Joshua De Silva, Dominic Drakes, Andre Fletcher. We have Hasaranga. Not sure if he's going to be there. We have Ryan John. We have um, Johan Lane, Evan Lewis, Mikhail Louis, Kyle Mears, Ashmead Ned, Versami Permal. Riley Russo, Sheffield Rutherford, Sikandra Raza, Odin Simit, Tristan Stubbs, and no one Thesara. So those are the players that are set to represent the um, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. Very strong um, team here on paper. So before I go into the Falcons squad, I just want to spend some time just talking about a couple players to watch. Not saying they are the ones that will win all the games. But, you know, going into tonight's game, these are the players, if given an opportunity, you know, I am thinking that we need to pay attention to. Um, and I'm going to try not to go for the, all the established players. Because obviously you would be looking at the established players and thinking they are going to set the place alight. So the first one that I'm going to go with is, of course, Sheffield Rutherford. Now, Rutherford, my viewers and subscribers, um... I remember when St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots won the CPL, Rutherford and um, Evan Lewis, they did extremely well. You understand? Rutherford is now an established um, player in the West Indies T20 team. He has actually moved up the pecking order um, over quite a few uh, players that were already that were there before him. So, you know, he's now a senior player in the Patriots squad. So I'm looking forward to seeing him going out there, playing some responsible innings. You know, hopefully we will see him batting up the order. Um, based on how this squad is looking, you know, you have guys like Evan Lewis and, and, and um, Kyle Mayers. You know, they are prob probably going to open. You have Andre Fletcher, who will probably open now. So they maybe go right and left combination. So we might see... Um, uh, 
Lewis batting, not Lewis, we might see Kyle Mears batting sec, um, number three. Plus, they have Mikel Louis also. You know, so it's going to be very interesting. But Rutherford is the first one that I am looking at. And Odin Smith. Odin Smith, my viewers and subscribers, are very, very, um, you can call it a case where, you know, we don't know what to expect. At one point, he was there along with Romare Shepard. Those were the two all rounders that we were hoping would go on to take over from the lights of Bravo and Pollard and Russell and these guys. But, you know, um, his fitness hasn't been, you know, where it should be. And, you know, uh, he's usually wayward, very wayward. Haven't seen him in a little while, so I'm not going to speak to how he's bowling. But, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see how he will perform, especially seeing that he's no longer playing ODIs or T20 for West Indies. So, um, Sheffield Rutherford and uh, Odin Smith, two players there that I am uh, definitely going to be looking forward to. Um, the next player we want to um, probably look at Evan Lewis. So it just so happened that for this team, I am going with established players. Now, Evan Lewis, my viewers and subscribers, a very, um, very important thing to note. I personally believe that apart from Chris Gale, Evan Lewis, uh, you know, probably the most dominant T20 um, opener we have produced. I mean, Evan Lewis would, would probably have something else to say. Not Evan Lewis. Um, uh, Simmons, Lendl Simmons will probably have something else to say where that is concerned but I I know that when Evan Lewis is fit and flowing he is dangerous very difficult to deal with you see oh yes in Nicholas Poor and hitting some effortless sixes that's how Evan Lewis bats when he is in form so um, it's going to be interesting to see how he um, how he operates as a senior player you know um, I am I, I won't even say that I am sure that he wants to get back into the West Indies team I, I won't say that because prior to the World Cup he was called up to a camp and he said he was unavailable not sure what was the problem if it was injuries or whatever but um, Evan Lewis I am really and truly looking forward to seeing what he will bring a lot of people give up on him already you know but I personally want to see um, what he if he has anything to, to offer still and we'll finish with Ashmid Ned no, Ashmid Ned, a very talented spinner. You know, at one point he was, I won't say rank above some of the guys that are now um, established international players, but he was somebody that, you know, regional people were looking forward to seeing, um, you know, out there. You know, uh, remember when we had Akil Hussein, you know, Kevin Sinclair, Moti, all of these guys performing in the region. Ashmid Ned coming up, you know, um, I think fitness was a problem for him, but he has actually lost a lot of weight. And you know, I am, I am, I am very, very um, keen, or, or you can say that I am anticipating, um, you know, how how he will perform. You know, I, I I am waiting to see how he will perform. So those are the players that I am looking forward to seeing, um, especially in tonight's game. As I said, I don't know how the squad, how they will shape up. Um, after the first set of games, you know, I will have an idea and then I can say going into other games I can, you know, give playing 11s and say alright, these are the guys that will bat here and there I want to get a look at how they will perform Alright, um, the new franchise now, the Falcons, Antigua and Bermuda, um, Bermuda Falcons um, Jamar Hamilton, Samuel Billings, Fabian Allen, Iman Wazim, Fakhar Zaman Russian Primus, Teddy Bishop, Kelvin Pittman, Mohamed Amir, Kofi James, Justin Greaves, and they also have Joel Andrew, Chris Green, Joshua James, um, Brandon King, they have Omazazi, they have Springer, Shamar Springer, and Hayden Walsh Jr. So a nice mixture of players here. Not a lot of established um, T20 players. So the name that I will go with first, first, Fabian Allen. Fabian Allen, an established um, T20 player, has played at the international level, has played in the IPL, and, you know, um, somebody that I am hoping will take this team on his back and do some work for them. His bowling will need to be spot on, but his batting, his batting will definitely need to pick up. You know, he will have to get back to the form that we, 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 we saw a couple of years ago. Now, Fabian Allen, my people, 
at one point i remember when he was ahead of um akil hussein Goodik and Goodikish moti where t20 cricket is concerned but both men they have actually surpassed him where bowling is concerned you know and his hitting his hitting hasn't been you know at a top level you know and in the west indies team he would be competing with rutherford um in the squad rutherford you understand romario shepherd powell hitmeyer you understand so if he's not and russell when he's there so if he's not bowling extremely well you know i can understand why why it was difficult for him to get into the west indies squad um for a period because you know we already had two left or have two left arm spinners um all performing him and then the batting is not where we would like it to be i have always said you know man is my country man man is from jamaica i'm going to call it as i see it just the same i couldn't care less where he come from it could even be in a abuka up in a bush at jamaica where i come from i couldn't care less right so i am hoping though that in this um cpl fabian allen will rise to the occasion i'm hoping that his batting will um you know his batting will get back to that level where it once was uh we see sammy and powell they have him in the squad so obviously they are trying to get him back um to that level you know rusley is sort of phasing out so it would be good to have another clean hitter of the ball you know coming in so fabian allen so definitely looking forward to seeing fabian allen doing some work the next person i'm going to go with is joel anjo the youngster coming from under 19 cricket quite a few people already saying that oh joel anjo need to be in west indies team first team all formats i want to see what's going to happen in the cpl i want to see him in the 4D regional championship I want to see him in super 50. you understand um I know that when we have players dominating at the under 19 level and coming up, we're always eager to see them performing. But, you know, I'm going to hold my horses. I'm going to wait and see how it goes. But I want to see him getting a couple of games in the CPL. You understand? Definitely um, a talented player and I look forward to seeing him. Next person I'm going to go with is Kelvin Pittman. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was looking at a video on the West Indies Facebook page and Kelvin Pittman, you know, he was there doing an interview and, you know, he was saying that they were working on some stuff, you know, getting the bars in the right area and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he has been around for a little while, still young, but, you know, with a new franchise like this coming in, I am hoping that he will get the opportunity. Um, another youngster, Teddy Bishop, somebody that we saw at the under 19 level and you know um especially in odis in 50 overs we were saying that this guy is definitely one for the future i guess we are trying to integrate these youngsters into t20 cricket so it would be nice to see um somebody like a, um, a teddy bishop go out there and do some work uh, quite a few other names that i could have mentioned you know we have guys like hamilton you understand mohammed amir you know Mohamed Amir played for the Talawas, so obviously I'm going to have some sort of, um, you know, attachment. Brandon King, we have Chris Green, a whole lot of guys, my people. But as I said, I'm not only going with established players, you know, I'm looking at established players plus a couple um, youngsters that I want to see go out there and get some work done. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this one, my viewers and subscribers. Going to leave it right here so for now. Hope you weren't thrown off by that video that I did earlier talking about um, the Falcons playing the, um, the <laughs> playing the Amazon Warriors. I just say go when you talk too much, you know. <laughs> Big up on yourself, my people.